FA Cup wins in their time, but nothing quite compares with knocking out your greatest rivals. 3-1, they beat Stoke City last night in their first round replay. Four times the neighbours have been drawn together in the FA Cup. This the first time Port Vale had come out on top. It was well rehearsed and well executed. Russell to Overson, Lee Sanford deserting normal defensive duties to pop the ball over the line. The equaliser a minute later, the ball loose from a challenge. Martin Foyle, leading scorer last season, still striking the ball very well. 45 minutes were up when Port Vale forged ahead in worsening conditions with constant driving rain. Andy Porter opted for a cool head and long strike. It worked. This the moment Stoke knew it wasn't to be their night. Substitute Dave Regis did everything right, the mud alone ensuring that it wasn't a goal. And there were only seconds left when Martin Foyle went on a chase of a second goal and glory. He found a spot in the corner and Port Vale were through. Metal fencing at the back of the stand, recently built at a cost of half a million pounds. Well, once again, it's a very small element of hooligans. We, unfortunately, have still got in football. And it's not the genuine football supporters. They're coming here basically or any ground to cause trouble. And this is the result. Do you have a simple message to the people who caused this damage last night? Yes, uh, just leave it and, and let's have the two f football supporters back in the grounds. Please keep away. But last night, 20,000 fans were entertained to a thrilling, sometimes physical cup tie. In the torrents of rain, deftness of touch was a rarity, but Steve Foley's tackle on the Vale defender Neil Aspin looked not only ill-timed, but dangerous. Foley's flying foot caught Aspin on the shin. He limped off. Foley wasn't booked. But the fierce rivalry was, for the most part, contained. It was Lee Sandford who put Stoke ahead as the Vale defenders looked on. It's been 36 years since Vale won against Stoke, but was all that about to change? City's jubilation was wiped out a minute later as Martin Foyle hit Vale's equaliser. And it looked as if honours would be even at the break, but two minutes into stoppage time, Andy Porter's left foot shot put Vale in front, 2-1 at half-time. The Stoke substitute, Dave Regis, had just come on, but was instantly out of luck. The mud did Vale's defending. But in the end, this was to be Martin Foyle's night, a copybook finish in the last minute, and a well-earned 3-1 win for Port Vale. Well, the lads have always had a good spirit there. We were very disappointed with last season, which, personally, I don't think we should have gone down. But this year, we've been a lot more attacking and taking the game to the, you know, the opposing teams.